Hey guys, welcome back to another Gimpy Scout Guesses. Um, it's been a while. Um, those of you who um, are new, welcome. I'll just tell you real quickly what I do here so you can determine if you wanna stick around. Basically, I unbox a game that I've never seen before. Um, and based on what I find in the box, I try to give my best guess as to how the game is played. It's just kind of a fun way to unbox it. Um, definitely don't look at this as uh, informational or educational because it will not be that. It will be fun and lighthearted. Um, so yeah, that's what this is. So if you're new and you like it, I hope you will come back for more and subscribe and like and comment and all of those things. If you're returning, welcome back. Um, I don't know what all people are aware of, but just real quickly, um, I think he posted a video about it. So if you haven't seen the video, I'll just tell you, but he, um, Gimpy was in the hospital a couple weeks ago. He ended up in the cardiac ICU. Everything is good. Um, so far he's, st he seems stable. We've added some medications. Um, he's got a heart monitor. So we're kind of keeping track of things and doing a few more tests to try to figure out what happened. I won't go into too much detail, but, um, it was kind of, out of nowhere and scary and a lot. So these past two weeks have been kind of just craziness. Um, the whole family got sick and then he ended up back in the hospital. It was a lot. So that's why it's been so long since you've seen me, but um, here I am and I'm gonna go ahead and get into this one. So um, yeah, spill over. So this, I cannot even pronounce. Yin Hue 72. I know like N-G-U-Y-E-N. I know it's not like Naga, you don't pronounce those. So I'm guessing it's like Yuen Hue 72. I'm probably totally butchering it. Um, but it says the 1972 Easter Offensive in Vietnam. So it is, it doesn't say on the front um, who makes this, but this is the back of the box. Um, we have some looks like example over here. This says the offensive began in the sky with a shattering barrage of at least 12,000 rounds of rocket, mortar, and artillery fire across the demilitarized zone, which divides North and South Vietnam. Set Specialist 4th Class Michael Hill and a U.S. advisor with ARVN units in the area. It was like nothing we ever expected and nothing we ever saw. Then came the ground attack. Some 25,000 North Vietnamese troops with Russian-built tanks and artillery swept down through Quang Tri province, sending 50,000 refugees fleeing south and U.S. advisors scurrying to their helicopters. Um, and then we have order of battle over here, allied units, NVA slash NLF units. Um, don't see components or like a, a time scale or complexity scale or any of that stuff on here. So we might find that in the box. Doesn't even tell me on this um, who this is by. So unless I'm just totally missing it, I don't see. It says ages 14 and up, time four to six hours, and it's for two players. It does say this up here in the corner. I'm just gonna open it up. I like the front. It looks like actual pictures from Vietnam. So I really like that. Um, and we've learned from our mistakes as far as how to remove games from a box. You never just flip it because some boxes are very specifically packed. And if you flip it, you will never ever get it back in the same way again. So we've learned here, we're growing on this channel. Um, so here's the inside of the box. There's a little divider, but not a whole lot. We have one single six sided, like a mini dice. It looks like, cause it's, it's a tiny, tiny one, just black dice here. Um, we have some cards and then we have some things that my daughter would go crazy for. She likes to sit in daddy's office and play with his miniatures because there's so many cool ones and these she would love. Um, we have some planes, looks like some vehicles or some tanks. And then, um, like here's a truck here. I don't know if you can see that. And then some people. So yeah, a nice little, and here's a tank tank there. So there's a nice little variety in this bag. It's a pretty big bag too. It's a lot in there. Um, so you have that. The cards, since it's only one pack of cards and there's not a whole lot else to this, I am going to open the cards um, to see if we can get any information from this. <laughs> All right. So it looks like the Vietnam flag or symbol or whatever that is, I believe. And then this is the other but I don't know. Um, yeah, North Vietnamese troops with Russian built tanks. So the US 
advisors. I'm not sure, but here is the chin thing. Chin Tang. I don't know. That's what it says on this booklet here. I'm trying to figure out what this is. I'm horrible with flags, horrible with geography, horrible with history, which is what makes this fun, right? Because I know nothing about anything. And here I am trying to guess on like historically accurate war games. That's like perfect, right? That, I, that's what I should be doing. Um, anyways, these cards, like I said, we have some that have this symbol and then we have others that have this symbol. And these say like, there's like a picture of a tank and then some numbers at the top Subtract one allied air point from a strike, no allied air attacks in one region. So like weather, maneuver, secret stockpile, rally. And then you've got some like people and places, I'm guessing. Um, so yeah, this looks like for the Viet Cong, I'm guessing. Um, so there's those. They're kind of like event cards, but some of them had people. So maybe they're event cards, but some people cause an event, maybe. Um or an event type of a card. These look like kind of similar, but for the US. So we have like US advisors, a specter, amphibious move, some planes, firebase, US Navy, interdiction, ARVN Rangers. What does that stand for? Why can I not American? Something Vietnam, American ally. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Tell me what that means in the comments because you probably know. Uh, patrol, maneuver, tow. So yeah, th these look like event cards um, for the two sides. So there are those. I'm going to stick these back in the box so we don't get them you know, lost or messed up or anything. And then it looks like a rule book, some counters, Looks like a couple of player aids and then the rest is game boards. So we'll start with the rule book and forgive my hair. Not that you guys like care about my hair, but um, I got out of the shower and it was a little later than we planned and I have to film before kids can go to bed. And it's, it's crazy with our schedule when we can film. It's like a small window. So I didn't have time to dry my hair. So this is what you get and hopefully you won't, you know, hold it against me too much. But anyways, enough chatter. Um, this does look like the, uh, the rule book. It says there's a table of contents and we have game components. So it does tell me that. I'll read you that in a second. We have a summary of play, the object of the game, game setup, units, sequence of play, cards, winning the game in 1975. I love it when a game includes exact step-by-step -step how to win the game. That's too cool. So here are the components. Excuse me. We have a game box. Nice, a game map. It says it is in two 22 by 34 sections. One rule book, two deployment and reinforcement cards with terrain effects charts, 54 game cards, one six sided die, 30 South Vietnam inf infantry soldiers, 12 SVN 105 millimeter howitzers, 13 Huey helicopters, five M11. M113 APCs or M113 APCs, two M48 Patton tanks, four U.S. infantry, three ROK infantry soldiers. I'm probably butchering a lot of these. Maybe they're supposed to be said as names and not as, um, as uh, what's the word, as initials, but that's what I'm reading them off as. So um, uh, 30 NVA infantry soldiers, 12 NVA howitzers, Five NVA tanks, nine NVA trucks, two B-52 bombers. I'm familiar with that. I couldn't pick them out of a picture, but I know it's a plane, right? It's a plane. If, if I'm wrong, I'm going to look like such an idiot because I said that. So like, oh yeah, I know what that is. <laughs> um, five F-4 Phantoms, five A-1 Sky Raiders, four AH-1 Huey Cobras, Four F5 Tigers, two AC-130 Spectres, definitely heard of AC-130 before, uh, one Cruiser, 13 Supply Tokens, 34 NVA Unit Markers, 18 Interdiction Markers, 34 Gray Unit Markers, 15 uh, NVA Control Markers, two Victory Point Markers, and one Game Turn Marker. So it told us what all, like, individually is in this bag, and then it also told us um, all the counters. So we've already gone through all the counters. So there's only one sheet of counters. 
So you can see it's just like some solid colors and then some flags and then it looks like some like barrels and bomb looking things. So those are the counters, which is probably hard to see in this shiny plastic. I'll give you a quick peek, but I did just read off in detail um, what all of these are. So I'm just let you take a peek real quick. So here is the counters, one side, and then here's the back. So there's the counters. And then we have these, which are deployment and reinforcement cards. Cause it says right here, uh, NVA, NLF deployment and reinforcements, allied deployments and reinforcements. So that's North Viet something and North something, something. Don't know, don't know, don't know. Couldn't tell you, but that's what that is. So there is that or those. So this is the NBA, whatever NLF one, this is the allied one. And these are the deployment and reinforcement charts, mats, cards, whatever you want to call them. And then on the back, there is a terrain effects chart so that each side can know what each thing on the map means, what it does to affect your game, affect your movement, affect your battle attacks, blah, blah, blah. There were some things in the cards that we looked at that did um, have effects like there was one that looked like a storm and it's like, you know, no air attacks can happen here. So, um, yeah, there's, there's lots of things that can be affected by the terrain. And I never appreciated that till I started doing this, these types of videos, um, that you didn't just walk across the board and roll the dice and move your person that there's lots that goes into these. So each side will have a terrain effects chart on the back of their deployment and reinforcement card because it is only for two players. So Actually, it said one to two players, right? No, it just says two players. So it's for two players, not solitaire as far as I could see. So that was the rule book really quick, even though I started showing you other stuff. The rule book's 20 pages. I told you kind of what um, the table of contents had in it. It told us the components. There's a summary of play. There is an object of the game section. There's a game setup units and then the sequence of play cards and then winning the game and then 1975 which i guess is just like another game maybe or a campaign because it says campaign 275 um so yeah so that's the rule book slash scenario booklet i guess um and then the last two things are just the game boards it's set in two pieces but there's three here so i don't know what that means but we'll take a look and see All right, so here's one, and this says the Yen, Yuen Hu Easter Offensive in Vietnam. So we know it's in Vietnam, we know it's in 1972, we know it involves the Vietnam and the US. So I usually do who, when, and where, and I just nailed all of that because <laughs> this game tells us all that. So no credit goes to me, that's all on the game's um how the game is taught to you through all of the components. So don't give me credit for knowing that. It told me I cheated, definitely. But we do have a game turn tracker over here um, with dates on it. It's 1 through 13, and it starts with the 30th of March and ends with the 25th of June. So I don't know how that comes in, but that's on here. Then victory points are up here, and we have supply effects as well for both sides, and then a couple little like add addendums here, and then just you know some places marked or highlighted on the map. So that was one of the maps, which does not fold that way. It folds this way. And then it said only two, but like I said, there's three, so I don't know if it like ripped apart and it wasn't supposed to, but let's see, what do we have here? This is a much bigger piece. What the heck? Yeah, this is weird. Okay, so this one's pretty big, but it looks like this somehow is gonna fit this maybe? Let's see. Um, what is this? It says body count on this one right here. We have an airplane section on this one. I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to, okay, so body count 
on this little one, which again, I don't know what that is. We'll check it out in a second. Then we have airplanes here. And then this looks like China area. So it's the South China Sea. We have combat results, air power, and naval gunfire. Um, and then like some results and tables stuff down here. But I'm trying to figure out how these go together. Um, they go like that. Yay, the map, the lines make it easy because they just line right up perfectly. So I guess it goes like that. But then I don't know where this one goes because it's going to be too big. Unless that can. Okay, does that go over there? I can't show you. Okay, so I'm going to take this bigger one off um, so I can show you or we can test to see if this other map fits with this one. Let's see. Yep, it does. Okay, so it's a very odd, it's like a long map at the bottom and then it would be a tall piece that kind of comes off of it, but it's three pieces. So the book said two, this must usually be one. It does look like it may have ripped there. Um, so I think this is supposed to be one map and then that other one, but they do fit together. So, um, and it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's still functional. It's not like it broke, but it just, this park, this little um, hinge here came apart, but it still works. But this is Vietnam. And then that's like the China South area, South China Sea or whatever it said it was. Um, but yeah, that's the map. And with that, we have seen everything that comes in this. Like I said, it does come in two pieces. This map just separated, but everything else is in here and accounted for. Um, I feel like that wasn't a lot because um, it did such a good job of really making everything very clear as to what it was that I didn't have to do a lot of guessing um, because it was just spot on the money with everything. But again, I didn't see, let me actually check the rule book real quick because I do want to be able to get credit for who made this game. I am not sure. It looks like it might be, I don't know if it's a prototype. I don't know if it's a new game. Um, a Kickstarter, I'm not sure. He'll have to tell us. But it says Cadet Games. Um, I think, I know he told me there was one recently that's a newer company that's a veteran-owned company, and I don't know if that's this one or not. Perhaps it is. Um, if it is, then I'm sure he'll tell you all about it when he plays the game. But it does say Cadet Games. Um, and I was looking to see if there was anything in here, like, about them. But it just says credits go to... The game design is RJ Mills. Development is Cadet Games. The playtesting is Cadet Games. Editing is Cadet Games. Map art is Mark Von Marshall. Box art is HV Stutt. Component art is HV Stutt. And production management is Kevin Talley. So those are the credits for the people who made this game happen. Um, again, it's a Cadet Games game. I have not personally seen anything come across this table from Cadet Games. So I'm thinking it's a newer company. Um, but from what I've seen, it looks really cool. It looks like a very well put together game. All the components are very well made and look like it's very descriptive in the rule book as to how to play. So you don't have to watch my video and try to play the game after that because you probably wouldn't be able to. You'd probably be struggling um, to do anything if you relied on me for information about that um, because the book tells you everything. So you don't have to just rely on this. You can watch this and come to me for entertainment and you can go to the rule book for all the information you need on how to play the game. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this either way, even though this was a little bit of a shorter video. Um, they can't, they're not all long. Um, I'm sorry I can't grace you with my presence never ending. I know lots of you would like for me to just sit on the channel and just live my life on here live for you so you can enjoy me night and day. Um, totally kidding, but that cannot happen. I have four kids and a husband who needs me. And like I just said, the past couple of weeks have been crazy. So getting to sit down and film something feels normal, feels right. So I am happy to do that, but I'm sorry, this is a little bit of a shorter one, but I know he has a couple more he wants me to do. So I'm sure there'll be a few others 
coming up sooner rather than later from us. And then we are hoping to get that other channel up and running. It's just, we had a little hiccup in our, our plans. So if you could just keep us in your prayers that we figure out what's going on with Gimpy. Like I said, he's named stable. He's fine. He's home now. Um, we got him on some medications that seem to be working, but we just don't know what the problem is or why the problem is. Um, and so we're hoping to get answers just for peace of mind, for good plan, for treatment and all of that. So um, yeah, if you could, just, you know, pray that that's always helpful. Subscribing, liking, commenting. Um, I do think he has a PayPal listed. If you want to donate to the channel, that would also be helpful. He was in the hospital. We were having to drive back and forth an hour to the VA hospital. Um, those appointments are far away and that's a lot of gas and miles on our vehicle. So if you're able to, amazing. If not, liking, commenting, sharing helps us out a ton too. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this guest of this new Cadet Games game, which I don't know how to pronounce. Yu and Hugh, I think, 72. The 1972 Easter Offensive in Vietnam. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Kids are ready for bed. Kids are ready for bed. Hey, hey, hey. Putting the kids to bed. I can hear them screaming upstairs. Bye. <laughs>